Today's comment of the day award goes to AH10 Archie Dog who says Tom, how do you make the career mode so realistic and fun? How do you play on legendary difficulty and win regularly? I love your videos, they make my day. I'm also a Liverpool fan, you will never walk alone. How I make the career mode more realistic is I try to, you know, avoid very unrealistic transfers. First I build the club up and then we can go for maybe higher tier players. But also I focus highly on developing young players which gives me a really big satisfaction when a player comes from the youth academy and becomes a legend at a club. But also I like to set goals for each season and write them down. For example this uh, season I set goals of uh, you know trying to get a young player to 15 maybe 20 goals and Shai Ojo is already on his way he already scored like six or seven goals I also practice a lot so that's how I play so well against harder than legendary uh, computer and I also I, I set the sliders to a much harder difficulty than the default legendary difficulty because I want all the games to be challenging I also focus on you know some competitions that I didn't win or don't win very often so I really hope that you guys enjoy this character mode let me know how could I make it better in the comments and enjoy the episode what is up guys it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode show with the brand new episode and I have a three awesome games in this episode for you guys with a lot of goals and we are playing Manchester City I'm setting up the team at the moment as you can see I'm going with my strongest possible lineup Manchester City are just a third in the table we are second so this is a title battle between between two of the powerhouse teams and I'm actually happy for Man City that they are now up there because uh, in the past two seasons they finished in mid table and as you can see they are in third place we are in second place by the way if you enjoy this series and want to see more episodes get this video to 300 likes here is the Man City team they have Aguero, De Bruyne, Ryan Sterling up front but they have some unknown faces in midfield Moy for example who is I think uh, from Australia and Vinadum passes it to Gabriel. Can he get on the end of it? No, he can't. And Man City with a big attack. Aguero, what a save, Carius. And yeah, in the first 10 minutes, there were already 10, uh, two, three chances. Oh, no! Wow, Fabian Delf almost took the lead. And I, I will be honest, Man City were the better team in the first half, as you could see. They had four chances, I just had one, but Mane, look at that pace, can he finish? Yes he can, Sadio Mane, what a celebration as well. I'm recording this uh, post commentary, of course, this uh, face cam footage, because I recorded this video late at night, so I couldn't really do live reactions, but the live reactions will be back for the next episode, and Man City flopped his line. So I was actually fortunate to be 1-0 up when Man City really should have maybe taken a 1-0 lead at half time and I tried to build it up here, look at this passing move. Mane to Gabriel, he takes a bad first touch but then he outpaces paces Ottoman, can he finish? What a save by the goalkeeper! And by the way Joe Hart I think he was on the bench and Mane is through but he couldn't get there damn it so yeah when man city were on the you know ultra attacking as you can see i'm creating loads of chances and james rodriguez his shot is blocked james rodriguez still has only one goal since his transfer but i really hope that he can score more so we won the game one nil which is brilliant not a lot of uh, shots as you can see but i still could include quite a few highlights for you guys and Jorginho Vinadum was the man of the match very happy for him and uh, yeah he got an assist for the goal so that's why and I'm training these young players and I decided to start training the youth academy goalkeeper who is a six foot six giant of a goalkeeper and he already has a 77 reflexes as you can see as a 17 year old so here are the latest results uh, Tottenham who were the league leaders dropped points again so we jump up to first place in the Premier League and Man City from third go down to seventh place Man United are struggling this season and uh, I'm not gonna lie I, I love that I really hope that they don't make uh, the top four Man United last season they 
didn't actually make the top four, they finished in fifth place, uh, but somehow EA still put them in the Champions League. It's like even EA are Man United buyers. The next game is a Champions League game against young boys, and it's time to field a lot of the young players. You could see the lineup before the game, and uh, Pulisic. Passes it to Emre Moore, to Ojo, Ojo to Alexander Arnold, who could be as good as a Steven Gerrard one day. Alexander Arnold reminds me of a young Steven Gerrard because he can play in a number of positions. He is also a very good all round midfielder. What a run by Pulisic, but he couldn't finish. So I'm actually very happy with the young players, but watch this. What on earth? And then an incredible finish. I've never seen a near post uh, header like that. It was actually very smart from the young boys players. But then that finish, I have to show two replays of that because it's stunning. Donnarumma is just rooted to the spot and young boys go through, they hit the post. Wow, I don't know what happened with my team, but the young boys started battering us after the early Liverpool dominance. Young boys turned the game around and it's 2-1. And yes, I was playing with three at the back, you know, trying out this 3-5-2 uh, formation, but I, it was just bad defending on my part. And what a goal it would have been by Ojo. He rattles the crossbar. And as you can see, young boys keep creating chances, so it was not looking looking good because Liverpool you know we need to get at least a point and Ojo couldn't find the finish there he was very unlucky Ojo in this game because he hits the bar he could have scored but then a great counter-attack 79th minute we need to get something from the game Emre Moore and he falls to Ojo can he finish this time finally Ojo who is actually our top scorer this season gets us back into the game it's 2-2 he drills it low and hard in the far corner and that is just a brilliant brilliant goal and yeah i was actually playing with some uh, over the top through balls which it looked like it's it worked bailey passes it to pulisic can he finish no the goalkeeper saves it and then nothing comes of the rebound so the game ended in a 2-2 draw and considering how many chances young boys created it's a fair result, so it was a very entertaining game, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And of course, once again, Ojo, so far the player of the season, got the man of the match award. Here are the Champions League groups. As you can see, some groups you can already see the top two teams pulling away from the rest. Man United won both their games. And this group, Arsenal are actually in a little bit of a trouble. They failed to win any of their first two games, but uh, they can still qualify. Nice also drew against Yurubin Kazan, so that's a good result for us. Very happy with that. And let's see the other groups. Uh, Monaco actually pulling off huge upsets. They beat uh, Juventus and also Bayern Munich. Uh, so I think... This could be, you know, a very, very big surprise if you actually Monaco qualify because I expected them to finish bottom in that group. But instead it's Juventus who are bottom. Chelsea are also struggling and Atletico Madrid. I expected actually Atletico and Chelsea to pass this group, but Roma are doing well. And look at that little Stoke City pulling in another victory. They smashed... Ajax 3-0 at home after winning in Scotland against Celtic but I'm actually uh, really interested to see whether you know Stoke City maybe can do another miracle last season they beat Barcelona in the group stage and uh, this season they are against Real Madrid but we are playing Newcastle United who scored the least goals in the Premier League they are in 19th place as you can see, as you can see from the league table I'm, I'm I'm trying to score some long shots but it hasn't worked so far James Rodriguez's shot was saved but then Newcastle have two good chances no not two three good chances but they miss all of them. Dybala with another long shot, but the goalkeeper saves it. So it was a, you know, not very good finishing in the first half. And I was, again, just bad defending on my part. Coman takes an awful first touch and that deflection could have gone in. Similar to the, similarly to the Man City game, we could have been 1-0 down very easily. And how did Ame Obe miss that? I was actually certain that he will score. And Dybala, finally we started to play a little bit of a better FIFA in the second half. And James Rodriguez with a shot, but it's saved. 
So yeah, the first half Newcastle were much better, but they just couldn't finish. And Mane goes through. Surely that's a goal. No, what a goal! What I mean, what a save by the goalkeeper. But we kept on pushing. Uh, James Rodriguez finds Coman, who does a brilliant step over and body feint, and he cuts back. And the Newcastle defender, look at this, look at this skill by Coman. And the Newcastle defender just lost his cool, and he fouls Coman. Dybala steps up, coming back from his injury, back with a bang. Paulo Dybala makes it 1-0. That's a huge goal considering that Newcastle were the better team so far. But in the second half we stepped it up. Dahoud got, got injured, so I substituted him. And again, another long shot try with Gruich. It didn't work really, and th then we just were killing Newcastle on the counter-attack. Bailey goes through, he crosses it, the goalkeeper, but look at Mane! Oh, what a finish! Mane! I was actually screaming my head off when this went in. An incredible first time half volley by Mane into the top corner. That is just one of the sweetest finishes that you will see and Bailey goes through his brilliant pace and I wanted to pick out Gabriel but I messed up the cross but Gabriel still has it he passes it to James James back to Gruich to Henderson long shot time but again the keeper saves it I just can't score long shots let me know if you have any tips for me how to maybe make the long shots go in the keeper saved all of them and considering that Newcastle could have been 2-0 up at half time to win 2-0 and to keep a clean sheet it's I think a lucky victory but also we, we created a lot of chances in the second half Mane was the man of the match and we are top of the league we are top of the league Tottenham are level on points with us but we played we have a game in hand we played one game less Man United finally won a game but they are still in mid table but and Arsenal after the early season bad form they are also collecting some victories, so they are coming up the table. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool Carrier episode. If you did, smash the like button. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye.